everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. Every wide receiver in the NFL wants to be a top target, and two players will be trying to be that today. It's the Seahawks going up against the Bears. So let's send you up to Chicago, where we'll say hello to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. While the skies may be ominous, there's never a bad day for football. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Chicago Bears. Hello, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. As we get set here, Charles, we talk about wide receivers. You know, Larry mentioned it in the open. But that's a big spot to look at here in this one. I think he identified it perfectly because these guys have such an impact on the game nowadays because they throw the ball more than ever. And whether they're throwing it short, medium, or long, can they snatch it out of the air and create even extra yardage with run after catch? Steven Hauschkanel about set to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The quarterback, Jay Cutler, leading the offense onto the field. And for him, a slow start to the preseason. He has yet to throw a touchdown pass. Sometimes I just wonder how Jay Cutler functions in a huddle or even calls a play. Think of the number of different offenses, offensive coordinators, head coaches. He's been through with all their different systems. I think he'll play better once the season comes along. He's got to get some timing established with Kevin White, last year's number one draft pick, who missed the season due to injury. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. We see this offense, and we see Jeremy Langford, certainly a guy to watch in this game. He plays the game with great determination, Brandon. In college, he played multiple positions before settling in at running back. He made the right choice. Eight yards to go here on second down. Langford again. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Defense thinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep, the dangerous Tyler Lockett. <laughs> he juked him. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State. And that's Russell Wilson. He's always been an incredible decision maker on the field. Takes care of the ball really well. Puts his team in the right positions. Makes sure the play calls are accurate. Also was a minor league baseball player. Didn't hit very well there. I think he made a great career choice picking football. Well, the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And all the way down to the 29. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 53 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. They'll 
throw on first down with Wilson. This will be caught inside the 10. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Paul Richardson, 28 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. now to send this one away following the score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. We focus our attention on the Seahawks defense now. They were able to force that three and out. That led to a touchdown. And defenses obviously love three and outs. They want more of that. They created a very short and not too sweet stint for the offense by getting them off the field that fast, but it set up their own offense, gave them a little spark, and they took it downfield and scored. Now the question, can they do it again? Let's see. The drive starts with a carry by Langford. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So Langford the carry there. Fourth round pick last year with Forte vacating to New York. A lot of the spotlight on Langford. A lot of running backs have possibilities in Chicago. If he can emerge and eat up carries, I think he'll produce in a big way. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They keep it on the ground with Langford. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends his drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They isolate Jeffrey to the left side. On first and ten, it's Cutler. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. On second down, Langford. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. 
And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. We focus our attention on the Bears' defense now. And it's the first quarter, but they gave up the score last time. How important is it here not to fall two scores behind? Extremely important because not only are you trying to avoid being in a big deficit to start this game off, you also want to get into a pattern where that offense has the advantage. You've got to find a way to turn things around. This is the series to begin that. Yeah, we'll see if they can keep them off the scoreboard here for a second time. On first and ten, it's Wilson. This complete to lock it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now Wilson on first down. It's caught. Lock it. And he's brought down after a good game. It's a pickup of 21. And the Seahawks are going to have a first down. On first down, Wilson. Going left side, it's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. Give him 30 yards there. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there for a big gainer, that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change-up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change-up, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. And he'll get it up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And how about this wide receiving core, Charles? Well, I was at the hotel watching a little film, and you popped your head in and said, these receivers are pretty good from what I can tell. You're exactly right. Can't wait to see them do their thing out on the field. Now the fourth-year man from Texas A&M, Kristen Michael. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. On the run, this is Michael. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Kristen Michael taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Hauschka now for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. They come out here in the eye. They'll run with Langford to begin the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. 
The lone set back is Langford. He's going to get the football. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, there's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. The defense in an enviable position here. The offense needs 13 yards. It's third down. A fake to Langford. Now Cutler. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up Ford. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. Returnable for Lockett. A second shoot. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. So let's glance at a player spotlight now with Russell Wilson. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it. We got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great protection's if that's where you're been, going. Yeah, protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burt, the rest of the crew, what they've put together with these images and pictures, if you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you to contract time. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to take to contract time if this continues. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. They'll get 32 yards there, and it's good enough for a Seattle first. Anytime there's an open target and there's a reception, the next thing you're looking for, the ability to break a tackle and gain additional yardage. That's what we just saw. is the tally on first down that brings up second and five so a defensive brain lapse there and an encroachment penalty sometimes when you don't watch the football and make sure that it's snapped you're watching the offensive player and they can influence you occasionally and look like they're getting ready to move and the officials don't detect it the lone man in the backfield and he'll get it up the middle and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line only a gain of a yard there but it indeed gets him a new set of downs he'll give it to him right up the gun and he'll fight his way down right around the 12 two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight they give it to Rawls and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. The Bears have put an extra defender in the secondary on third down. Yep, they're in the nickel. Wilson in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. On to the field now come the Bears. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Now after the interception, here's Cutler. He finds his target, Royal. It's a gain of nine yards. 
And that'll make it second and short. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they can do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Now a handoff. It's Langford. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. A good-looking run there by Jeremy Langford. And what I've always liked about him has been not just his versatility, but his perseverance. I think he's one of those backs that gets better as the game goes on and he gets increased carries. Does have some good toughness running inside. I remember when he was at Michigan State, at one point I did a, a game of his. He was listed as third-team left corner for quarterback, receiver, and running back for the Spartans. Won a couple of Big Ten titles there as well. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Still nine yards to go on third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while well, your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, like I said, he's looked pretty good to this point. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. Now it's Wilson. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. On first and ten, it's Wilson. His throw incomplete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. 
So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Second and 10, it's Wilson again. And lock him with a grab over the middle. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll try to run the rolls. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. Now after the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. Set to return now. Here's Deontay Thompson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Bears trail at home at halftime. The Seahawks have looked good on the road and will just try to keep the ball rolling in the second half. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. First and 10, Lockett's going to make the catch in traffic, and he'll end up picking up 53 yards on the play. Continuing on the drive, the quick pass and completion is made, and 29 yards later, he'll go in for the score as they put the first points on the board. Seahawks line up at the 41. Lockett's wide open here on the catch, and he'll be tackled at the 11-yard line. Later on the drive, Michael's got it on the run, and he'll take it in for the touch. That puts them on top by 14. Third down from inside the 20. Wilson's got to rush the throw, and it's intercepted. Trevathan's is happy to come away with the pick and end the drive. Seahawks line up at the 36. Middle of the field, Wilson will find his mark, and that connection will lead to a gain of 34 yards. They go on to kick a field goal to end the drive. So that's a wrap for us. We'll head back now to Soldier Field for the start of the second half. Okay, Larry, a fairly one-sided first half as we get set to go in the second half. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And they're going to speed things up here. They stay on the ground. Rolls again. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. A nice, strong run there for Rawls. His coach is back in high school in Flint, Michigan. You know what his nickname was? No, what was it? The train. The man can break some tackles on occasion. Well, it makes sense when you watch runs like that. Because when you're trying to deal with a train, you're supposed to get out of the way, right? And if you don't, you're going to get bruised up trying to tackle him. That's the type of runner he is. He can pop people as he goes by them. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now Wilson on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jermaine Curse. And that'll make it second and ten. Sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. Wilson. And oh, look at that. A diving catch. A good pick up there on 20 yards. In the red zone this time. And now they're in the hurry up. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he will score! Touchdown Seattle! Paul Richardson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. You know, in golf, they often talk about playing the course and not worrying about what the other players are doing, what their scores are. That's essentially what we're seeing from this offense. They're just having fun and doing what they feel like doing today. Here's Hauschka for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Get out to send this one away following the score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know in the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. step aside. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson, and he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. 
and that catch there by Luke Wilson goes for a first down, and he's really developed and come on. Now, remember, Jimmy Graham, who's expected to be the key tight end for Russell Wilson, he was hurt most of 2015. Luke Wilson really jumped his game up. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. And they'll give it to him here. Ooh, the juke. And he's brought down. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First and goal. They'll look to smash it in. Maybe a quarterback sneak here. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Thomas Rawls taking it in. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. The touchdown was scored by the runner. But the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly. Allowed him easy access to the end zone. Now Hausch could attack on the extra point. And the lead will grow by one more. Get out to send this one away following the score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Throwing here. Cutler. Pass incomplete. Jeremy Langford, the one he was trying to get it to. And that'll make it third and 13. Offense working with a third and 13 still left. Now Cutler on third and long. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Seven yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. Now it's Lockett. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. Here's Wilson, and almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick in the game. Instead, it'll be second down. A lone second remains now in this third quarter. Second and ten now, Wilson. And a grab made by Doug Baldwin. 
And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Three corners have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. We got three. We got three, fellas. Now Wilson on first down. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he's brought down. It's a gain of 17 that time. And that'll be good for a Seattle first down. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. On first down, Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. The guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Second and goal from the five. This is Rawls. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Throwing is Wilson. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Mitch on Ryan. In there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end. And that's exactly what he did. On is Hauschka now for the Seahawk field goal. And Hauschka's kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. Now after the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Again on second and 10, it's Cutler. Completion left side to Miller. It'll be a pickup of just two, and just like that, it's third down. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football, and getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been terrific so far. Yeah. 
taken in at the 22. Oh, look at the juke. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points? The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that'll help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe it. Super toe. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Oh, Wilson going to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. now to send this one away following the score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened down here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Second and ten now. It's Cutler. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets his shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They've really been able to contain Alshon Jeffrey. That catch, a rare exception in this game. And that's a feather in their cap because he's such a tone setter for his team on offense that they try and get him the ball early. And, of course, what comes after that is often. And for them to limit him and him not catch a ball until the second half, it's a big reason why his team is behind on the scoreboard. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Cutler to Langford on the draw. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. 
So a ways to go here on third and ten. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. This is taken around the 12. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. A very good return there, give him an even 20 yards. And possession will switch here as this offense will come on deep in their own territory. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. the lone man in the backfield. Whoosh! And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. And quickly, they get to the line. Wilson. It's caught. Lock it. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Wilson wants to throw it. Oh, it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Not only did they drop it, look like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. now for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. Here's Thompson on the return. Penalty marker is down here. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. throw deep downfield. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Well, Charles, I don't know what you want to call this. A blowout, a laugh, or whatever it is. This was not a game. And I believe that you saw this coming early. Identified it right in the beginning of the game, and it played out that way. Well, and it did. And for this team, just a lot of confidence coming away from this one. Confidence for them. For the other team, though, boy, what a dismal, dismal day.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gott. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.